people what you're saying the most respected on YouTube of course Dr. Apple okay so before I start I'd just like to give a uh, credit where credit's due yeah now I've been rather critical of Paul Venice the last few days but I've got to say I wholeheartedly agree with every word he said about tumble you know what I'm saying so check his video out this this time He's spot on, but um, that's not the reason I'm making this video. I'm making this video about basically um, the balance of this country, you know, the lies and the corruption of the media. Basically, we've got um, a very biased mainstream media here, you know, everything from the newspapers to what you see on the TV, you know, the BBC, Sky News, uh, I've been watching a few Russian channels, yeah, a few Russian Telegram channels, and they are what I'd call very balanced, because even though they're pro-Russian, they criticise Russia, they um, they go in hard if Russia, they feel, do you know what I mean, not doing something right, you know, if they've, you know, miscalculated or underestimated anything to do with this special military operation whereas what you get on the lousy bbc or sky news is just a one-sided story you know they've the ukrainians have started their counter-offensive they've taken over a few deserted villages you know they haven't even got to the main front line yet of the battle yeah they've got to some Lightly defended villages, you know, with just mines, a few sol <laughs> a few soldiers here and there, maybe some uh, dragon teeth, and um, they've took a few abandoned villages anyway, yeah, and they haven't reached the actual front line, yeah, which is highly fortified by the uh, Russians, and they won't get much further. But you'd carry, you'd think if you listen to Sky News and the BBC that they're making tremendous gains that the Russians are going to withdraw with their tail between their legs because of the mighty Ukrainians and their Western masters, uh, Bradleys and Leopard 2 tanks, which are all being wiped out as we speak, along with um, bat battalion, bat battalions, um, you know, of um, Ukrainian forces, you know. Battalions, battalions. I really should learn English one day. Yeah, battalions anyway. Yeah, loads of, but you know, a few, maybe now I'm starting to exaggerate, a few battalions have been wiped out. Yeah, we've, we've no doubt more to come. There's only, let's, let's be honest, there's only about 40,000, 50,000 Ukrainian reserves left. Yeah, that doesn't bode well, you know, when most of their army has been obliterated you know um but you you won't hear that on the mainstream media you'll hear that the russians are on the back foot putin's crumbling they they're um involved in sabotaging their own nord stream pipeline you know which was found out that it was the americans you know in the end that blew that up um you know it's just lie after lie after lie you know and um that's all i want to hear i just want to hear a bit of balance just a bit of balance on the nose, you know, instead of saying, you know, we we all understand that they're on the Ukrainian side. Yeah, but this is just, this they are just feeding <clears throat> the British public that don't know any, any better a load of lies, just like they did in the Iraq war, remember? Weapons of mass destruction. Yeah, they found nothing. Colin Powell in the United Nations holding up what he said to the world was weapons of mass destruction. They found nothing because there was nothing. They overthrew the country. They killed thousands and basically made the country ten times worse, yeah? Um, it was all for oil. It was all for greed. Why is Bush and Blair not being um, persecuted or prosecuted, should I say? Persecuted is uh, Donald Trump. Uh, prosecuted for war crimes and yet... They've thrown everything at President Trump. He's indicted for this, he's indicted for that. Forget what the Hillary Clinton, the Joe Bidens, you know, what with Dave, 
done uh, various things similar to Trump. Of course, it's a witch hunt. It is a witch hunt. Whether you like Trump or not, it's a witch hunt. You know, I mean, to try and take out your political opponent in such underhanded tactics is just disgusting, you know. It's full of snowflakery anyway in this world, you know. Look at the, look at the way they got rid of Forrest Johnson, yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's just a load of backstabbing traitors. Now, I'm, I'm not a fan of Boris Johnson, to be honest. Once he started preaching on about sending warplanes to um, Ukraine, that was it for me. He lost my support, you know what I mean? He's trying to escalate this war instead of people actually sitting around and trying to negotiate a deal because they are never, ever getting that land back from Russia. They're never getting Crimea back, you know what I mean? Not that that's... Ukrainian land anyway, but we'll have to call that as as it is. But um, it's just lie after lie with the uh, mainstream media. I've had enough of this bollocks in this country. I can't even watch the news, you know? Can't even open a newspaper anymore. They just feed us a load of fucking shit. Why do you think this country's in such a mess? They were going to sanction Russia. But guess what? It's all of Europe that's fucked. Yeah. Sky high energy bills, fuck that. You know what I mean? Still haven't paid my gas bill. They can fucking whistle for the money, mate. Um, sky high food prices. I mean, you're being absolutely robbed in the supermarket these days. Double, triple the prices. You know what I mean? It's it's disgusting. You know, and the supermarkets ain't gonna lower the prices anytime soon. Not when they can rip us off. While we're being fed a load of fucking bullshit, you know, that it was because of the virus. You know, another thing they tried to brainwash the uh, the whole world with, you know. And um, like everything else, just lie after lie after lie, you know. And uh, I'm, I'm sick to the teeth of it, you know. This, this country has got no balance, like I started the video with. They can't be impartial one little bit. They just... They just change the narrative to suit them, you know, if you get me. Now, I'm not really taking sides here, but it's clear to anyone with an open mind that the mainstream media is a, is a load of fucking bollocks. But people, have a good night, feel better, had a little, you know, had a little rant, got it off my chest. Do you know what I mean? So, enjoy. Enjoy your evening. Good night. God bless.